feels a little bit heavier, not gonna lie. Oh, look, Dad. Hey, yo. What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today, 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 as you can tell by the thumbnail, what we are doing, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we are back. I told you guys we'd be coming back here. We have another two or three docks to hit. We have these two big docks, one right, yep, right there, and then one on the other side, and uh, a lot of traffic here. Tons of traffic. It's a whole campground in the middle of a city, town, town, it's pretty small, but you get what I'm saying. A lot of foot traffic, a lot of visitors come and go, a lot of fishermen, so we're at a good spot. But today, we got Dad yet again. Today, I'm gonna be throwing the 1,000 pound magnet He's gonna be throwing the 830, I think it's 836 pound? Yeah. 836 pound pull. I'm gonna be throwing the 1150 pound pull. And so together, that's a lot of pound pulling. Oh yeah. Look how shiny she is, not even used yet. You better be finding some jack with that today, son. Actually, sorry, I'm the son. <laughs> But it's always fun. Me and Dad, we have a bunch of fun on these magnet fishing videos, and you guys have been loving them. Thank you all for, for watching the magnet fishing videos. They are absolutely exploding. You guys are loving them. So all my new subscribers and viewers, if you're one of them, I welcome you to the channel. Welcome aboard, and I'm glad to have you. But that being said, YouTube, for some reason, still wants to mess with my magnet fishing videos. And the last one, the one that you guys are liking right now, it's getting a bunch of views. It got demonetized. So... You know what I gotta do? I gotta plug my personal stuff. So if you guys are looking for a sweet canvas keychain, they are sweet, I'm telling you what. Here at Ducks, we offer a great pocket knife for the price. It's only 25 bucks. I'll link it down below. As well, if you wanna pick up some and support the channel. You know I always appreciate it. Because when YouTube doesn't wanna help the channel grow, you guys do by purchasing the merch. So, I appreciate it. So, here is the first dock of the day. In the last video that you guys seen, we were at that dock over there. And let me tell you, it was probably, man, it was like 14 foot deep all the way out on the front side of it. So we're gonna throw around this bad boy. It got these rails. So I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Drop a comment down below and let me know if these rails can help people <laughs> drop stuff or, I don't know, here we go. All right, here we go. I have been reading your comments down below and a lot of you are like, hey, cut that tail off or tape it up or something. So that's what I did. I just cut it off. I'll have to keep an eye on it, make sure it don't come undone. But thank you guys for uh, your comments. It probably helps me. Uh, it's probably going to help me find a lot more stuff. But here we go. Man, it feels like I got something. I can't tell, though. Oh, got something. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Tweezers or fingernail clippers. They rusted apart in the water and I got both pieces. Someone's little toenail clippers that they were clipping the fishing line with. First find of the day. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Well, definitely not usable, but pretty neat. Well. Here we are. Oh man, that is deep. Oh boy. That is deep up here. I mean, really, really deep. That's every bit of 15 foot. You just get so much line out there. You can't really tell with this big thousand pound because that magnet's so heavy. Um, you can't tell if you have something small on or not. So until that bad boy just stops in place, I'm just going to keep making long, long, long moves until I pull it up. Man, it feels like something's right here. Not till. Got something on there. What the heck is all that? Fishing line. That's a old bolt cut cut off from a dock. Some leaves attached to a bunch of fishing string. Yep, with a hook on it still. What is that? Look at that piece of little chain piece of little chain real real thin thin chain and just a bunch of rando metal sweet that's some epic catches right there boys let me tell you what'd you get there hey, hey, hey. you've been drinking out here you've been drinking that <laughs> corona hot. i gotta have something cold yeah we've been catching tons of bottle caps people if you're watching this 
Do not throw in your bottle caps. Don't throw them in the water, man. Well, I guess it's time to get brave and give her a little bit of a toss. Tossing around a thousand pound, a little dangerous. I would say I'd want a smaller rope, but I use this big rope for this thousand pound just because Man, if I gotta yank it, I wanna be able to really yank it and not worry about breaking the rope. So, it feels like a, man, I feel a lot of fishing string breaking down there or something. Feels a little bit heavier, not gonna lie. Oh, look, Dad. What'd you get? I don't know. A multi tool. Oh, oh, look how That's clean a good it is. one. That's a small one. It's a husky. Yep. Hey, she's oh, a husky. It's a pocket. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I think that'll clean up. Gosh, Anything darn. else on here? This is what I love finding right Look here. Look at, see the, see I told you fishing line, I was just kept feeling fishing line break. That's I awesome. It's one of the best finds yet. That's definitely the best find for today. It's just gummed up in there. Look at that. Been down there for a little while. Still good to go. Soak it with some WD-40. Oh yeah. That's a good thing about magnet fishing, fellas. You never know what good stuff you might find. But check it out, here's the multi-tool. If you guys appreciate that find, drop a big old thumbs up right now. Well, we're gonna replicate what we did here. I'm gonna try to do just what I did, and I just launched it out there. Let it give it a lot of line, cause geez, it's deep. Look how deep that, I bet that's almost 20 foot. And then, I'm just dragging it like this. Making sure it stays on the bottom. You don't wanna lift it off the bottom. You go slow, drag her along. And it should get to a point I'll start feeling a lot of fishing string break again. There's a lot of garbage down there. Whatever it is. I got something heavy. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I got, but it's heavy. Oh, it let loose. Wow. I think it let loose. Uh can't tell feels heavy oh hey there you go <laughs> got an old tree bass there oh goodness look at all the sinkers all the sinkers well i can guarantee we just helped out a lot of fishermen yep any baits on it i don't see no baits just sinkers everywhere sinkers. i'll be darned <laughs> launcher just send it boys just send it yeah. well i don't think there's anything on it but it's always worth Giving her a looky. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. We got us a Texas rig Sanko. And it ain't that old. Here's look. the other piece to your chain. Yep, more of that chain, that small chain. Look at that. First bait of the day. That's got a little not that old. blade tail worm, whatever you call these things. In the bucket she goes. Got a little jig head. Look at that. Kind of neat. Well, it's just kind of slowing down. Probably going to get ready to switch docks here. But if you guys are wondering what magnets I use, I will link this 1150 pound and dad's 830 pound pole magnets down in the description below. Go check them out. They're really good priced if you want to pick one up. Well, dad got some fishing line. What all did you get on there? Oh, it's a fishing pole. Grab that. Look at that. I knew there was a fishing pole down there. Look, he got the tip of it. Dad got the tip, got just the, the tip. One. Yep, look at that. Got the rest of it coming up? That's it. No, that's it, just the tip of it. Well, that's how we do it. If we find something, we clean up the area. It's one awesome thing about magnet fishing is all you viewers out there that go magnet fishing yourself, that's what we do as magnet fishermen for the community is whatever we're finding, we're pulling out and we're picking up, so. Well, we got our thirst quenched, to let me tell you. That old Gatorade always does a trick. That purple fierce, that's, that's my go-to. We're gonna be fishing this dock now. That multi-tool is definitely the best find of the day. We're gonna see if we can top it, though, because uh, this one should, should be fished quite a bit, given the location on the lake here. So, let's get it. Man, this is kind of soupy over here. This is some uh, green bubbly soup action going on. Do the old throw, boom! See how deep it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Eh, not as deep as over there. I bet it's about 12 foot over here, 10 foot maybe. I'm gonna just do the old pull and drag action. That's, that has been the move today. The old pull and drag. 
we've pulled from over there so this is our first big drag out front of this here dock see if we're lucky see if we got anything didn't feel like it Ooh, we got something on there it looks like oh yeah look at that <laughs> got two different pieces that goes in here yeah well, it goes on the other side i think doesn't it yeah you got two different pieces of a fishing pole and a little little bitty what do you call those a beetle spin or something yeah. from the looks of it that don't look old might yeah come up with a good might come up with a fishing rod down there hello uh-oh i forgot you guys are gonna kill me i gotta get on the old gloves my bad well i think i'm gonna throw on this other side and pull it the, back the opposite way that i just did there we go pretty deep out there man it feels like i got something on this bad boy but she will not come up having a lot of trouble with getting stuff up today wish it would come up whatever it is no nope, just more darn fishing string golly I think that pulls down there <laughs> just kidding I flipped it flipped it over and look at that old uh, can top there I feel like I got something oh yeah there we go got us a another tree bass okay there we go what do we got on this thing that's a christmas tree what the we got a christmas tree tons of uh fishing line on it i mean tons there's just tons of weights and hooks people has been throwing their christmas trees in here huh pink bag little pink makeup bag look at this what is there anything in it that's the question what in the world? Someone used this as a minnow trap or something? Looks like someone used this little bag as a minnow trap. I think that's what they did. They used a pink deal as a minnow trap because it is connected to the dock right there. Ha! Well, if I screwed up your minnow trap, I am, I'm, I am sorry. Well, we got the old Christmas tree here. I'm going to take it over here. This is what it's all about. Look, I know why someone put your Christmas tree in there. It's to attract fish around that dock, but I ended up dragging it up, and I'm not gonna throw it back for the simple reason of, as you can tell, it has caught enough people's lines. And they've lost lures and gotten snagged a bunch, so we're gonna leave them right there. Good to go. Well, third dock of the day. You guys have seen this one before. This is where we had the heyday on the last video. Hey there, what are you doing under there, you two? Little lovebirds. But me and Dad absolutely wrecked house last time we uh, magnet fished this dock. So third one of the day, we probably uh, left the best one for last. So cross your fingers, wish us luck. Let's f find something good here. Feels like I got something here. I cannot tell. Yeah, no, we got a bobby pin, a hook, and a sweet little lure look at that little guy that's an old one that is sweet cool little lure look at him uh oh dad got a, a net that's a second net from this spot the exact same spot yeah last time i, I caught it right over behind you another net last <laughs> video we had the same kind of net i'll be darned cool yeah, it feels like i got something on there oh look at that what do I get here? Look. Got a, oh, that's a piece off a, a stringer. An old stringer. That's where that little chain is, is those stringers. We have a pinched together bottle tap. You know someone pinched that together and chucked it in the water. And then we have a, have a top. Another can top. And a hook. Jeez. Tons of junk in here. People just want to throw in there. Uh-oh, Dad got him something. What'd you get? What did you get? Oh, no way. <laughs> Another multi-tool. Oh my goodness. Dad, Dad was like, I got something. I literally flipped on the camera. You got a battery on there too. Two multi-tools in one day. I don't see a name brand on it. 
Wow, that's amazing. Don't <laughs> see a name brand on it. It's I could clean it up. Yeah. Dang, it's been in there a while. Look at it. It's, Look in there. It's it's grimy. Two multi tools. Now, now we got a video, boys. Yeah. Woo! Well, as you can tell, I am totally drenched with sweat. You know me, I'm ready for hoodie weather and hunting season, but let's check out our finds today. It wasn't a bad day. Check it out. We have part of the fishing reel that I found. The good little beetle spin I found. That's still a pretty good lure. And then here I found these tweezers. These are a fisherman's tweezers. We all know what we do with those. We snip our line with. A ton of fishing line that's still attached to everything. You know the old routine. Got to find the old bottle caps. Another uh, Texas rig lure. Can lid. A net that dad found. But our cherries were these two multi-tools. I'd say this one here Dad agrees that this one is just, it's, it's yeah, it's sweet. It's little, it's tiny. Sweet. That is the find of the day by far. But we sure did have a good time today. I'm enjoying magnet fishing even more and more every day. What do you think? Good day? Thumbs up for the old guy. The old guy, yeah. Everybody's been referring, hey, your dad the old guy. One, one person was actually like, hey, Bobby, push your dad in next time. <laughs> Telling him to push the old man in the water. Can you imagine if I would have launched him in the water? Yeah, I'd make for a good video, but I don't know if the ride home is going to be very good or not. I'll tell you that. I want to thank you guys for watching. All you new subscribers here, thank you for just viewing and being a part of the community and growing this subscription. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.